I know it's Thirsty Thursday, but we're gonna take a look at a device instead of an e-liquid today. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the Target Mini. Alright guys, yes, so today I am super stoked because another mini mod, I love mini mods, but this is the Target mini and the Target was wildly popular. The C-cells, the ceramic coils that the Vapresso makes for the Target are amazing. I loved mine so much when it first came out and now they have a mini version of it. It is so cute. Here is the packaging. Oh, look at it. I'm so excited. So let's just get right into it. It comes like this and slips out with this little pole tab. And it's like a book and you open it up you have this little pull tab here you lift it up and you can see the mod and the tank as well as an extra drip tip and then if you pull this side out honestly I didn't know it was gonna come out I thought it was another like flip up but anyways this has the USB charge cable in it an extra coil which is beefy let me show you in a close-up in a second and this little envelope, which actually is pretty adorable, sorry, and it has the Target Mini Quick Guide, the warranty card, a little informational about the C-cell coil, and a warning card. I am really liking the presentation of this new package. Also, really quickly, I wanted to make note that the charge cable that comes with this is that that uh, metal material. I'm not sure what the material is, but it's that type of cord that like it can't be cut very easily or chewed. Like my cat Thor likes to chew cords, and he's chewed through power cables and everything. But these types are have that metal material, so it is very durable. So, duh, here it is. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's so mini. Here is a size comparison from the original size to the mini. But here it is. It has a 400 milliamp hour built-in battery. Here is the charge port on the bottom. You have some regulatory buttons, an OLED screen, the fire button. See, it says system off. We have a 510 pin right here. So this little sucker goes from 5 to 40 watts and it is a zinc alloy and stainless steel casing around the mod. So this is the Target Mini mod and it comes with the Guardian tank. And I've only seen this being sold at one place and I'm not even sure if it's uh, in stock or available or if it's pre-order but I will leave a link below to get this kit it's about $57 and it is available in silver or black and on Vapresso's official website that's the two colors they show but on this website where I found that you can buy it they show this picture of many different colors of the Target mini mods I'd be really excited if it really did come out in those pink and purple colors but I'm not sure if that's 100% true since it's not on the official Vapresso website so this is 58 millimeters by 36.5 millimeters by 24 millimeters. This does have variable wattage and variable temperature control and TCR mode and it has three variable temperature modes stainless steel nickel and titanium. In variable wattage mode it can vape an atomizer with a coil as low as 0.15 ohms all the way up to 5 ohms and in variable temperature mode it can vape down to 0.1 ohm all the way up to 1 ohm. So that's 0.1 to one and while in temperature mode it can go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius it does have an advanced circuit board for reliable and safe use and with a high quality built-in battery it has more power and faster charging so let's take a close-up look of the Guardian tank here it is it is a 2 mil tank and it is 55 millimeters by 22 millimeters in diameter it has a 510 pin up here it has a removable drip tip and a airflow adjustability at the top this is the direct to lung mouthpiece it also has a mouth to lung because this is a two-in-one tank it's good for direct to lung and it has a 0.5 ohm coil stainless steel or it has a mouth to lung 1.5 ohm coil supposedly it has a revolutionary leak free design with no overfilling and it is a top fill so you do take the top off to fill it but the coil remains inside while you fill here is the mouth to lung coil it has the direct to lung coil installed but this is the 1.5 ohm coil and it is just huge check it out and here is the mouth to lung mouthpiece so you just switch out the drip tips and this one's better for mouth to lung so the double locking childproof system i don't know if you how well you guys can see that 
oh you probably can't see it I don't know there right around this ring there's the word open and an arrow so first you have to follow that arrow and spin the drip tip this way so see it comes out like that and then spin the top the other way to remove it and then you fill right in there and here is your coil and to, to change it out you just pull it out it's really easy just gotta get a good grip on it and pull it out and that is how you change out the coil right now it has the direct to lung you can see that this juice flow hole is a lot wider than the mouth to lung coil so push that one back in there and push it down nice and Firm. So now that it has this open, I'm going to fill it up, but what to fill it up with? That is the question. Do I do Milk Plus by Bonsai Vapor or Pound It? My two absolute faves. Um, I'm going to have to go with Pound It. Alright, so I have it filled up. Now I'm going to put the top back on. So first I'm going to put this on and screw that back on nice and tight putting that ring back on you definitely want to apply some pressure like any traditional childproof cap and then you stick the drip tip back in and you spin it the other way to get it down in there and then you have your double child locking mechanism all right i'm going to go ahead and let that wick up and pop it on the target oh it's so cute if it was pink like i would be in heaven this is kind of like a big not big but like it's like you know the tank is almost as tall if not oh it's like three millimeters shorter than the actual device so here it is all put together it looks super cute i love how the chrome is very shiny on this it does have a few protection features it has short circuit protection no atomizer protection low voltage protection over vaping protection uh when the which is the 10 second cutoff and overcharging protection as well as low battery protection so here is the screen it's off right now we have the fire button and the plus and minus button with the mode button down here so five clicks to the fire button turns the device on it says vaporesso there we go and it's automatically asking new or same coil so plus for new coil minus for old coil and this is a new coil since it's never had a coil on it here is the interface we have the battery life whatever mode you're in you also have the ohms and a wattage display up here in the corner so you can see now that it is on it's in celsius mode for nickel so to switch between the modes you press and hold the mode button for three seconds and it will switch between modes each time to change the settings of the tcr mode you just press it, the mode button three times then you are given the option to set your TC mode, TCR mode to whatever you want. If you hold the mode button and the plus button simultaneously, it will lock the system. If you hold the mode button and the minus button at the same time, it will lock the resistance. Then we'll go into the traditional wattage mode where I like to vape and then you can change it by 0.1 increments with the regulatory buttons. Alright, so I'm going to vape this at 35 watts. I have the airflow setting wide open. Let's try it out. Mmm, tasty clouds, bitch. Okay, so this is doing great for its first vape. I will note that, and it's probably my fault because I was having a little bit of trouble with the childproof mechanism. As you guys know, childproof bottles give me a hard time. And so the coil, I kind of made it flooded a little, so that's like what you're hearing. But it is producing great clouds. The vape is actually kind of warm at 35 watts. I don't think I would take it higher for me personally because I just don't like a warm vape. But it is so cute. But how to hold it? I always like when I get a new mod, I'm like, what is going to be the most comfortable, functional way to hold this? Oh, I love that pound it flavor. So definitely for me, I would not turn the airflow down and I don't think I would take it any higher than 35. I'm gonna go to 30 cause that's literally like my spot. I vape my D boxes at 30 with 0.5 coil. So I'm gonna go to 30 and see if that's the, the perfect spot for me. Oh yes, much better. <laughs> it's so cute. Is it like mini mod season or what? I bet this is the 
third mini mod that I've looked at in like the last two months. No dry hits. With those large juice flow holes, I feel like this coil is great. It's going to be great for wicking, but you don't want to get them confused because the mouth to lung coil has small juice holes. So there you have it, the Target Mini. It's super cute and super powerful. If you want to see me do a one month update on this, let me know. I can tell you that since it's mini, I'm going to be using it for a while because it's just so cute. And if you guys do want to see a one month update, I can definitely make that happen. I will leave a link below to the only website I saw that was selling this. Like I said, I don't know if it's in stock or if it's pre-order, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos that are not vape related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, Join CASA.org, join NotBlowingSmoke.org, SFATA, ABA, and all of those vaping advocacy groups to learn how to fight for your right to vape because now, at this current time, is the most important time now more than ever to stand up for your right to vape. So with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Like honestly, I struggled for a good five, maybe more minutes trying to get this childproof thing to work with me because you spin it this way to get this off, that way to get that off, and you got to press down to put it back on, and oh my god.